Hi everyone. Um, I just want to show you this. Now, toilet roll. You're going to need one toilet roll, something that's really firm you can press down with and I forgot what the blooming called, you know what I mean, one of them. A ruler and a cutter of some sort, preferably a knife. And I'm going to show you how to make the dress form in one. Which is easy. And then all you have to do is cover it on whatever, uh, whatever material you want to cover it with. It, it doesn't matter, it will work. You know, I mean, if I wanted to put this on it, I'll just cut it and do it like that. You know, snip it and seal it, you know, pinch it in, put little darts in it or whatever you want to do with it. It's completely up to you, but I'm just showing you how to do this dress form out of a toilet roll, which is really quick and really easy. And that's what it looks like. And the back, the dipped, you know, dips there. So, what you need? One toilet roll, you need some scissors. What did I do with my scissors? Never mind, I've got these scissors. Like that. Uh, lay it flat. And you can measure out if you want to, it's completely up to you. Move these bits out of the way. Start at, sorry, I hope you can see this. Start at zero, right, okay, so we're gonna do slice there, slice, well, not exactly in that position, we need them lower down. Perfect, okay. Do the same again at the bottom, because you're just gonna mark this off anyway. So you're doing them every centimetre, making a mark, and that's where it's going to be cut. Then what you need to do is at least fold it in half. So try and get it so that they match, like that. And then you're going to give it a really good bone folder. <laughs> really give it a good crease there. Open it back up. Um, what I would do is, you're going to do, um, from the line, from the crease, I mean, if you can't see it, draw it so you can still see it, like that, so you've got a line to work off, and you need to do, um, two centimetres either side, draw two centimetres either side, so you're lining this one up and this one up, which gives you the straight line, and then you need two centimetres either side like that and do that all the way across so I what I'm going to do very quickly is just draw mine like that it doesn't have to be I mean this could should be perfect really but uh, it doesn't matter if one's slightly longer you're going to cut it anyway so keep doing that lining those two lines up points and then, it's just a really quick and easy way to make your own dress form. Because not everybody can make them. But um, this is an easy way to do it. Then what you're going to do is take your blade, knife, whatever you're going to use. And you just, I'm not going to, you need to cut that line. Bring that down a bit more. There you go. So you've now got your lines. And we should, if we get it right, is miss one, cut one out, 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 miss one, cut one out. Miss one, yeah. So we're going to cut the first one out. Just scissors like that, done. Miss one, do the next one. Miss one. 
and then you go back and you do exactly the same thing on that side I just bend them back a bit it just helps so you don't cut the wrong one and you just snip them off like that so that's what you're left with now you're going to need to shape the top so I'm just saying that's going to be the back of mine like that so the middle of mine I'm going to say is right there and I'm just going to shape it so this is the boob line like that and we're just going to bring that in yeah so I'm just going to trim that you can deep you know make it deeper or whatever you want to do with it if you want to I mean I am going to do that on mine I'm actually going to take mine in a bit more like that so I like them you know quite deep so that you can actually get the shape and then this bit you'll start off on the from the first mark cut to there halfway across the next one and then slowly take that up into a scallop like that again cut the first one halfway across the next one and then take it up into a scallop and you can round that off that's nothing I mean you can trim them and sort them out afterwards it's you know it's no problem whatsoever I've not done that one actually enough that's better and then what you do is you've got to pin these together now make sure that sorry I've got a mad flying here make sure that this flap the first one and the first one on that side actually cross over each other so that has to meet there and what you're going to do is glue either side don't glue on that because you need that um that line because it bends so don't glue that glue either side of it take that over like that So it's still flexible in the middle. This. Now we need to pull that in. Let me just get my thread. I forgot the thread. Sorry. Take your thread. Put my blade down. I don't want to ruin it. And what you do, take your thread in one hand. Take hold of your toilet roll and pull it in. Just wrap it round to the width you want your dress form I'm just going to cut them two bits off, they're a bit long um, do yourself a knot do a double knot so it secures it And you can trim them two bits off and that's pulled the waist in and then all you do is glue them bits but pull them out slightly just pull them out slightly so that they give a bit more of a skirt effect I mean if you don't want this as high as that you can cut it down there's no problem doing that in fact I might do that with mine because I don't need it up that high like that yeah I like that much prefer it so I'm gonna cut that there yeah yeah I like that and there you've got yourself a dress form you do need to shut that bit there as well like I say pull it wide a bit pull it out a bit just to give it a bit more of a shape and there you go you've got your dress forms and all you have to do is cover them now um, I've taken the dress form toilet roll 
um, and I've cut some wadding. And what I'm going to do is attach it. So what I've done is I've taken some of this out to blend it together because that will cover the skirt. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take the central one. I hope my glue gun's ready. I've just been and had a lovely lunch with Julie. We went to the river. We sat there eating our salad and drinking our juice. We had a lovely time. We saw some people swimming in the river. Some, I don't know, they were practising for a race or something. Uh, and it's quite nice. The duck's going by. Nice and peaceful. Lots of lovely flies. <laughs> And all I'm doing here, as you can see, is just gluing it like that. It, it pulls it in and you get that skirt effect. And we'll just pull that in. Like that. See? Gives a nice little skirt effect. And then we pop that on that section. I'm not fussed about the back side of it right now. I'm just, I've got the fullness of the skirt. Uh, and what I'm going to do with mine is just to glue up the sides like that and stick that down. And that'll be fine. I can pull that in, you see. And that's fine. And then just trim that off to level it off. Like that. That's made a nice little. I'm going to. Also, I think, yeah, put a bit of glue just in some of those areas just to put the dress in and give it a bit of shape, to be honest. And there we go. Cute! And, you know, that you're not going to see the toilet roll through it or anything like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I've also got another piece here that I'm going to use for the top section. Because it doesn't matter if it's padded, you can pull it in with the material you're going to use. So right now I'm just cutting this to size. Um, and again, I'm just going to cut the darts in. Fold that again. Like that. Not sure if I'm going to need any more. We will see. I'm going to need one more, I think. Like that. Yeah, and I'm going to use a central one for the central panel. Let me just pop that in there. Again, just glue that section and pop that section there. Pull it in, of course, and then the back section, <laughs> I'm just going to cut that off. Don't worry about any of it, it's it'll all pulling and it'll all tie in together. I'm just gonna get some more oops, I've got string everywhere. Some more glue. Pull that back, and I I do want it to lay pretty pretty neatly over that section there, so I'm gonna pull it up. Because I don't want it too um stuck out. And again for the back, and then cut all the excess off. Which I will do that there. And then we trim that off. Like that. Yeah, 
that's turned out quite uh, quite well. <coughs> Pop a little bit more glue down that section, just hold that in. There's a section there as well. So it's got like a ripple effect anyway, but you're not going to see any of that. Um, it's not going to be a problem there for when we do the skirt piece. Now, with all of this, it looks a little bit bulky. Snip it. You're basically just covering the toilet roll up and then shaving the excess off. It's just to give it a little bit of padding. And there you go, that looks lovely. That's turned out quite nice, I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah, look. Simple, a little bit of wadding. Yeah. Just gonna make sure that we've got this cut straight, which isn't straight at the moment, actually. Much better. Yeah, like that. Great. Exactly what I want. So now I can start and uh, cover it. Now, I've got some beautiful, beautiful trimming, which I'm just gonna take a look, look at. Down, baby. I've got this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, that's a panel of that. So, let me just see to start with. Take that one away. Like that. That's the front. See, I can gather that up. Oh, I do like that. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a, some thread across that. Uh, to gather it, which will help me when I'm gluing it on. So I'm going to have to cut the side straight. And then we make sure that's done as well. Right, so I only need to sew it uh, three quarters of the way up. So I can see where I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to catch the stitch here. And it's just a very quick running stitch. Three quarters of the way. Like that. Okie dokie. And that has to fit like that it's more or less like a um, a wedding dress let me just see where I've got my thread so that needs to be near the back I might have to alter this I'm not sure and that has to be near the back and then what I have to do is pull that in I can work out where I want the gathers and everything later. I'm not fussed at the moment. So I'm just going to stitch these two together at the back. Hopefully that will hold hopefully and that will give me some room to maneuver this about 
and play. Yeah, that's right. I've not done it too tightly. Right, that's in the middle there. I'm not sure if I want that. No, change my mind. Sorry, change my mind. It's not what I want. Not what I want at all. I don't want that. I'm going to have to try something different, so I will sort that out later. Um, I'm going to try some other laces, actually. Where's my lace? Let me just try this one. Because I love this one. Look at that. Oh, that would look pretty, wouldn't it? I gathered a lot of that up. I need to do something with the top. Because this is what I do with these larger doilies. I uh, snip out the middle like that and I can use the doily up wait like that see that can be used and that leaves me with a hole in the middle. But, where have I put my needle? See, when I don't put them back, that's when I lose them. Here it is. So what I'm going to do is take some thread, some strong thread. I'm going to use my silk, actually. Lucky, gone out. Out. Right. He makes all licking noise. I can't stand it. When he sits there grooming himself. At least he keeps himself clean, but I don't like it. I don't like that noise. <laughs> One of my pet hits. Right, so here we go. Take the doily and just do a tacking stitch. to start with okie dokie and then what you do is you thread your needle through all the holes that you've got there and then you make yourself a kind of skirt made from a doily and I love doing this I did it with the dress form I did uh, when I was doing it for the living room you know for one of the dress forms I made for my room And they're great fun to make. But you do need a nice doily. That's why I look for the more unusual ones. Let's just keep going with this. and we're back to where we started now pop that on the doll 
and then what we can do is we pull it as long as my thread doesn't break I'll be fine Lucky Joe it just a minute because I'm sure he's got a toilet roll. I'll kill him if he has. He's bad. <laughs> so I've got my dress on. This is the front of my dress. I mean, I'm not finished. I'm not just leaving it like this. I'll put some more tulle in that underneath. But to start with, I just want this. Um, and then what I'm going to do is to wrap that around the waist. Like that. And then just catch it. A couple of stitches here and there. Like that. I'm going to pop my needle away. Straighten that up a bit. So, can you see? What I've done is I've used this doily to now make these skirts. And then what I can do from there is to dress it up. Um, I can now add tulle underneath, so this will hide that bit. I could add more laces to it. Um, like that. And then I have to do the lace at the front as well. So I'm, the camera's going to go out, so I'm going to come back when I've sorted out what laces I'm going to do, and we'll finish that off. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Hi everyone, um, well, I've started to do more on it, um, but the battery needed charging on the camera, so I'm going to talk you through what I've done so far, is underneath I've added this tool, you know it's like that fibre, but it's quite stiff, um, and I did a long strip and then gathered it, and then glued that to the waist here. So that's why you pull that waist in, because it allows you to glue things, you know, um, and, and the waist still looks really neat. Let's see what I can do. Boys, we can't go out just yet. Not yet. Yeah, I could use that. That would look nice in the bodice there. So I'm just going to cut that right across the two flowers. I'm not going to cut anything off yet. All I'm going to do is to glue it around the bust section first. Like that. Yeah, and then pull that into the waist. So I'm just going to glue, actually glue this. Sorry if you're finding it a bit difficult to see. Pull that across like that. See, I took that in the crease, and then this is the section I can work on. Let's pull that back a bit. like that and took that in and then this section as well and just pull it right in not so much fussed about that section what I am going to I don't know I like that actually I was going to cut that little panel out but I actually like that and I like this it's got the flowers here just here Yeah, no, I like that. I'm going to leave that as is. I'm just going to pin this down. Just to taper it off a bit. I need to flatten out just there. Okay. No, I'm going to cut it out. I, I wanted it out originally. I didn't want that panel in there. 
because I've got some really nice um, lace. It's a wrong colour though, I need to find the right colour. Can we get the right colour? I do have some more in cream. This is like a paler, oh, is that too much? That looks the same as that. Yeah, wrong one. Oh, I've got that, haven't I? I can use that. You know, the fluffy one that I sell. That's gorgeous. It really is pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start in the centre and put the V in. Like that. Yeah, I like that. And take it all the way around. Like that. Um, I just need to put a little bit of panel in here. So where's the piece I cut off? It's on the floor, lady. Oh, oh. oh do you know I've got glue in my hair then? <laughs> Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to do that. I What I like, I'm going to do this. Boys, go and lay down and wait for me, please. Go on, kitchen. I'm going to take that down the back on both sides. And my little scissors. Snip that off in there and in there just to make sure I've got that stuck like that and then I'm going to use these bits to fluff the back up so you'll see what I mean in a minute got glue everywhere glue stick need a glue stick see if you haven't got what you need use something else I've lost my little strip where's my little strip Not worried about any of that so far. I had a piece. I had another piece. What did I do with it? I had another piece. There it is. I bet you were all saying it's there, Fee, it's there, Fee. <laughs> right, I, I just love this. It's uh, chenille, cream chenille. I do have it in the store. Oh, if there's any left. I have it in pinks as well. Beautiful pinks. Beautiful, beautiful pinks. Oops, get back. Get back and press it on. Now, let me see. Yeah, see what I've done? So I've added the trim to the back, and I think that look is like a rib effect. That looks really pretty. And I found these bows. And I'm not bothered about creams and whites and, you know, uh, being put together. It doesn't matter, uh, matter to me at all. The d more difference, uh, or the, m the amount of different things you can do, they all blend in. It's all shabby chic. So I've got to get this right. Do I want that right there? No, I want it there. That's better. Beautiful. Beauty, beauty, beautiful. Look 
coming in to see what I'm talking about, bless them. Poor little buggers. No, go lay down. Out. O U T spell out. No, boys. Go on. I'm only taking it up to the bow anyway. Whoa, that needs to come off there. Not quite pulled that there. That's it. Sorry if you can't see. Oh, it's dropped down. <laughs> Sorry if you can't see. I am trying. Oh, I don't need that one on. Oh, that hurt. That was hot, hot. Yeah, that's nice. Give it a good shake. It's coming on. It's coming on. Yeah. Now, what do I want? I've got some of these. Just adding the spray here. Um, and then to that, I wanted to add like a, a little, what did I do with that little bit of doily? Oh, there, that one. I wonder if I can make that into one. What, I cut out of the middle? Yeah, actually, that would look nice. Yeah, methinks. I'm going to add that to there. Leak that and scrunch that. Just there. Now, I'm just going to pin these back slightly. I do like that, that's really nice. I'm not keen on them too. I'm gonna take them off. Oh, that one as well, I think. Look, so I've got that so far, but I need some bling for that now. Now, do I want shiny bling? Yes. Got one of these buttons which are stunning. So I need my pliers. Here we are. So I've got one of these to sit on there. Whoops a daisy, I'm stuck to the deck. Like that. So that's like the little doily flower thing. Like that. See? Right. Going for the elegant look. Now, what I want... Oh, I don't know. I need some small flowers. I'm not sure. I need some pearl as well. Here's the cream pearl. Yeah, so I want that one. 
Now I'm going to use the other one. I've got another one. Let's have a look. This one will do. I've got this one, so I'm just going to chop that. So I want to dangle some pearly bits from here. Like that. Not quite sure how long I want it at the moment. See, just like that, really pretty and elegant. So I hope you can see that, it's turned out quite nice. And then what I'm going to do is um, add a little bit of pearl. Boys, go and lay down please and wait. Come on. They know what time they go out, you see, but Ray's not in, so. Put a little bit of pearl around there, and I'm just gonna just get that. Oh, I'm glued up to the eyeballs. I hate it.
just don't like it. I hate that. I need to find my flowers actually. So, um, right, wait a minute. I'm just going to find a cream flower. A little cream flower, I think. That's too big. That might be. No, wrong one. Okay, I've got some acrylic ones that I'm going to use then. Just here. Sorry about this. It's uh, It does take me a while um, when I'm doing something as pretty as this. Because I don't ever want to spoil it. And I'm just going to pop one of my tiny acrylic flowers just there. That's really pretty, I like that. That's coming along nicely, isn't it? Like that. So we've got the tool that's helping to, you know, it to stand out. And then on top of that, the material, then the doilies. Um, I have put this bow on the back and again, I'm going to use one of these on the back of that. It's a, a little heart that will sit just in the bow there. Hope you can see that. <sighs> like that. And there are buttercream, white, um, another cream there. I, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered at all. I, it makes them come alive if they're different. Got all the pearls dangling down here. I'm just going to try and get this centre. I'll say at the centre. Yeah, I like that. That's coming along nicely. Hi everyone. Right, I just wanted to share this with you. Now I've finished this dress. Um, I'm not doing too much fanciness at the top. Because I don't want to go all TT. I've put in a little uh, earring here dangling. It's got the pearl around the edge, around the waistband. I've added the pearl bling there and two appliques uh, with a little fan here. Then the ribbon and the pearls. And then on the end of each scallop, um, I've added a bow with some berries and a pearl. I'm sorry if I'm out of breath, but I've just brought the dogs back. Uh, just for decoration on this side of the dress, because there was nothing, I've just added a little bow, a little silver bow. Um, and there you go, that's the dress. So I just want to share that with you. Have added some of the tinkly bits here, and some lace straps, put it on a coat hanger, turn the coat hanger over. Oops, oh, nearly did it then, didn't I? And as you can see, We've got the bow at the back. We've got some, um, again, ribbon, some strands of pearls, the little bow here, sorry, there. Um, and each one of these I've got that on. And I just think that's come out gorgeous. Like I say, it has got the tool underneath. Um, another doily underneath that, under the lace. And this was just a lace curtain with the lace that I sell underneath. And I put it on about that much, left an inch for a bit of thickness, that's all. And there you go, that is the dress form. Uh, that is a TP, the toilet roll, dress form. And I think it looks good. So if I can do it, I'm sure you lot can. It's the easiest TP roll to dress form to make. And you can decorate it however you want. So I hope you like that. I quite enjoyed doing it. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.